Welcome to Gun Nuts Media. We're at the Smith & Wesson factory watching how a 1911 frame is forged. First thing they're going to do is hit the frame with this giant hammer thing, which is going to create the initial impressions in the metal. It takes five to seven strikes to create this part that you see here, which is the bottom of the actual frame. So then they move that part over to this next machine. What this does is cut away the flashing, that round bit that you saw on the initial part. That'll be discarded and you're left with this, which is just the beginning, the rough part of the frame. Once they have that, they actually place it on this conveyor belt that you see here. Now these frames coming out of the conveyor belt are incredibly hot. As you look down inside it, you can see that it's still glowing and almost molten. After a few minutes and a few runs through, you'll have several small, you'll have several frames kind of stacked up on this conveyor belt, and they come off as they cool going through here. Uh, while we were on the factory tour, one of the guys said, you know, made sure to remind us not to touch those frames because gun riders are very grabby people, and the temptation to reach into a giant bucket full of pre cut 1911 frames of, you know, the 1911 frames in its rawest configuration was actually kind of strong. This is the final result that you have. Thanks for watching.